सरस्वती शिशु कुंज भगवाला बोरसत इंग्लिश मीडियम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट ई वी एस राइट एंड वी आर गोइंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर्स रिविजन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द लास्ट वीक एंड इट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर इन अ शेल्टर सो हाई एज वी हैव स्टडीड वन चैप्टर अप यू गो राइट दैट चैप्टर वॉज अबाउट एडवेंचर दिस चैप्टर इज ऑल्सो अबाउट एडवेंचर दैट वॉज ऑफ क्लाइंबिंग माउंटेन राइट दैट चैप्टर अप यू गो इट्स अबाउट क्लाइंबिंग माउंटेन एंड दिस इज अबाउट ट्रैवलर स्टेल right about traveling here the story is connected with gaurav jani who is traveler and his bike and his bike name is loner that loner and gaurav jani both want to travel towards beautiful places and beautiful parts of our country they both are eager means here that bike is you know considered as gaurav jani's partner because wherever he go he take his bike with him so this is story about journey towards north india and many parts of north india gaurav jani was basically from mumbai so his journey starts from mumbai right and he want to go to north side of india estimated he said that uh, this journey took 2 months so he pack everything whatever he wants like sleeping bags plastic sheets snakes which is remain for the longer time right food food packets like that right his tent right and many other things blanket and you know uh, warm clothes and many things he took it with him and he started journey from mumbai to delhi and he passed from many villages of Maharashtra means Mumbai is in Maharashtra only so he passed from many villages of Maharashtra Gujarat and Rajasthan so he passed from many villages of Maharashtra Gujarat and Rajasthan to reach Delhi in Delhi he observed that buildings and all the things was just like Mumbai there is no difference it was similar only right same kind of cement concrete and bricks building he was observing so he said i wanted to see something different in the delhi but delhi is just like mumbai so he uh, collected more things to continue his journey right like extra petrol cans and all the things he collected with him and then he travel further here distance from delhi sorry distance from mumbai to delhi is 1400 kilometers 1400 kilometers that is distance from mumbai to delhi after visiting in delhi he moved up to manali and from manali he continued his journey towards jammu kashmir so how he spent night in the tent let's see that paragraph in his own words so what he saying he saying lunar and i covering long distance each day all i need was food and a tent to protect myself from cold air at night he saying my nylon tent is so small that i just about to fit in it to sleep it was so small right only one person can sleep inside and hardly he was able to sleep inside lunar stood guard outside this tent means he was sleeping inside the tent and bike lunar right here when i when i'm speaking lunar it means it is name of a bike right so talking about bike and next day the breeze and sound of birds woke me up from next morning he has started his journey towards cold desert so let's talk about cold desert so now he is traveling towards ladakh means inside the ladakh right and he is in leh now see leh is inside the ladakh right like this is ladakh so leh is here right inside so ladakh is bigger than leh right if we talk about anand district so borsad is inside the anand district we can say right so don't get confused ladakh and leh leh is inside the ladakh his uh, more his explaining that ladakh is a cold desert and ladakh gets very little rainfall 
there is uh, very little rainfall right more he is saying that in the ladakh there is snow capped mountains and flat open and cold grounds are there snow capped mountain means if this is mountains so on the cap of the mountain which is covered with snow right so snow capped mountain we can say and open flat and cold grounds are there in the ladakh when he was traveling from the leh he explained about roads many time he is passing from area where there is no roads a proper road like we are having here right and many times he passes from the houses which are made up of stones when he was passing from one street many group of children were many children was following him and he he was shouting juli juli now what is this juli juli word it is welcome welcome means every child who was following that bike lunar they are exciting towards that lunar bike and all those children wanted that that gaurav should come to their house so they were inviting gaurav so next topic is at the home of tashi so that tashi is a boy who invited gaurav jani to visit his house Gaurav Jani observed that ground floor and first floor there are a house which is of two floors in ground floor they are not living ground floor is just for animals and to store the things so he took wooden steps to reach to the first floor of the house the first floor has many wooden parts which is inside the house the house wall was made by stones like keeping one on another that walls of a house was covered or we can say coated with the help of mud and lime here we are using cement but in the ladakh area or leh area they are using mud and lime to coat their walls most of the time they are living on the first floor of the house but when it becomes too cold they come towards the ground floor gaurav jani observed that ground floor does not have any window which will protect them from the cold air at night so tashi also said that whenever there is too cold they come down on the ground floor to live then tashi took gaurav jani towards the roof he was seeing the view from the roof it was so amazing all houses he was able to see he was able to see all houses from the roof tashi said that this is important part of their house why because many vegetables and fruit they are keeping on the roof so it can be dry some houses has orange color pumpkin corn some has paddy and some has cow dung cakes these all things were there on the roof so it can be dry tashi said that during winter it is so difficult to get proper vegetables and fruits so whenever it is available they are taking it from the market and they keep it to dry and when it is not available they are using this dry fruits and vegetables to eat gaurav jani was observing that every house was built to suit their need of the people who are living there many wooden parts which is used in the house will protect them from the cold so this was explanation about houses which are there in leh and ladakh now let's go for the next topic that is people living on the top of the world now it is time to climb higher lunar and gaurav jani both are climbing up with zigzag roads with a rocky mountains and there are many places which do not have proper roads now they are going towards the changthang plains actually they are rocky plains it is about at height of 5000 meter means you just imagine 5000 meters height we are not talking about distance this is about height 5000 meters means 5 kilometers height right so they are climbing with bike okay it is that much height that we cannot breathe properly same thing happened with him he was also not able to breathe properly he get headache it was too difficult for him to survive over there in the beginning minutes but after that he get adapted and he understand that how i can breathe here for many days he was just wandering without any single human being in the sight there are no petrol pumps no any kind of buildings are there on the road 
but open plain grounds with beautiful blue sky and lakes. Many days and nights passed. Gauro Jani and Lunar was just moving on and up. Suddenly one day, he has seen one flat ground with the grass. Many sheep and goats were grazing over there and he has seen many tents up to some far distance. He was surprised that who are living here at this much height and what they are doing here. So for that we will discuss in our next video. Right? I think up to here it is clear. Right? This is the journey of Gaurav Jani. He has started from Mumbai to Delhi. The distance from Mumbai to Delhi is 1400 kilometers. Right? Then he reached to uh, Manali. From Manali he went to Jammu Kashmir. From Jammu Kashmir he continued traveling up to cold desert that is Leh and Ladakh. In Leh and Ladakh he visited Tashi's house. Whole house structure we understood. Right? Then uh, at the home of Tashi, right? I told you, okay, people living on the high top of the world that I also told you, right? Okay. So, so I hope you understand this video, all the topics, right? The next part of this, right? This journey, we'll see in the next video, right? Thank you.